feet. We were ready to go. Yeah. I just got back from a longer test drive. Uh, on that first test drive I found that the low limit uh, was coming, uh, kicking in a lot. Uh, the internal resistance of the batteries was quite high. Um, and I found as, we, as I drove it more, the internal resistance actually dropped uh, quite a bit. And uh, now it's at a much more reasonable level of around 75 milliohms for the whole uh, pack. And earlier it was something on the order of uh, 150 milliohms when I first started. So maybe that's a characteristic of these batteries that they uh, will do that. They'll uh, start out at a high resistance. Uh, I've also been logging the data for this run. Uh, let me uh, analyze that data and we can have a look at it. And on this run, we went about 25 kilometers on 31 amp hours. And that's quite a bit better than the vehicle, how, how the vehicle was with lead acid. And that's also going up and down quite a few hills, so on, on the flat or in typical driving, uh, it would be a lot better. I guess the, I was just going around this area for a, a while, and this area is very, very hilly. Here's a graph of the data from that longer run. Uh, the red is battery voltage, blue is battery current, and green is uh, power in kilowatts. And here is a graph of all the individual battery voltages at a current of about uh, 175 amps. And there actually is a problem here. Several of the batteries are uh, have a much higher internal resistance than all the others. And this one, the particularly the worst one, number 45, is sort of, was sort of the oddball battery. That was the one that was shipped uh, alone, not strapped together. So maybe that was an older battery or had something wrong with it. Um, I emailed the supplier and they said that uh, the pack could take up to 20 cycles to break in. So I'll let it run for a while longer and see how it uh, how it is after around 20 cycles. And if it's still bad, I'll ask us if I can Ask the, ask the supplier if I can exchange those 
three bad batteries for uh, new ones. And on this graph the blue voltages on the left are from an earlier run and the uh, red voltages are from later run. So one of the batteries, that, um, number 36, improved slightly but the others stayed pretty much the same. And this graph is the computed internal resistance assuming the batteries have a resting voltage of 3.2 volts. So definitely the uh, number 45 is more than twice the internal resistance of all the uh, other batteries. And the good ones are relatively uh, consistent. I'll report back later uh, how the batteries are after about 20 cycles. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.